Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel, Loving Your Life with Mama D. And of course, I'm Glendy Davis, aka Mama D. And today is Glow Wednesday. And today is going to be a simple video. I'm actually going to take you up to the kitchen and we're going to be using my panini grill. And I'm going to make this wonderful uh, it's like a panini, I guess you can call it. I saw it on TikTok. My son sent me the video, and I just thought it was such a great idea for a lunch, a snack, even a dinner. So if you're interested in that content, stick with me because we're about to go up and get this thing started. All right? Hey, and if you haven't already done so, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and share it with someone. Okay? Let's go on up. Okay, first you want to start by uh, cutting uh, your wrap from the middle down to the edge and make sure it's cut all the way through. Now go ahead and put on your cheese. It could be shredded, it could be sliced, and it could be American, it, it, any kind of cheese that you like, but just use your cheese. And then cut up some chicken or you use a chicken nugget. Uh, you can use baked chicken, um, whatever chicken you want, but just make sure it's cut small enough so that when it folds over, that it won't be too tall. Okay, and then on the other four sides, you want to use some ranch dressing. And then uh, on top of the ranch dressing, you want to use some shredded uh, lettuce, just some basic uh, iceberg lettuce. I just shredded my own. You can buy it already pre-shredded, but I just shredded my own. Then on the next quarter, you want to use either the tomato or the cucumber. I think the TikTok video that I saw it used tomato first, but it doesn't matter. Just use the uh, tomato or the cucumber on that third quarter. And you want to make sure you slice it very thin. Then on the last quarter is where you'll put your tomato and make sure they're cut uh, equally as thin. And you only want to use maybe two to three uh, pieces because uh, they are pretty juicy. Now what you're going to do is use a little salt and pepper. You don't have to really salt the chicken because the chicken should already be flavored. But just a little salt and pepper on the tomatoes and the cucumbers. Now fold the first quarter up and then you're going to fold it over onto the tomatoes and then down over your chicken and cheese. Okay, you may want to press it just a little bit. Now you want to get it into your panini grill. And I kind of had a little hard time because my chicken, I think, was a little too thick. Um, but we managed to get it in there and press it down and turn it on so that it can go ahead and cook. After a few minutes, it was done. It was nice and crisp on both sides. I just took it out. You see that? On both sides, it just really has, a, I like the grill lines. Then I just cut it right down the middle. And if you can hear that crunch. Oh my goodness, and look at that. What a wonderful snack. That cheese melts up just right. So I hope you enjoyed that video, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up, all right? And guess what? I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.